In a previous video, we have discussed the priority queue and its implementation. In this video, part 1 of Huffman tree and priority queue, we discuss the Huffman tree and how to use a priority queue to implement it. In the next video, part 2, we discuss the C C++ coding of the implementation. In our work, a Huffman tree is used to generate a Huffman code. Let's first discuss codes. A code is a set of bit patterns that represent a set of symbols or events. For example, we have three characters A, B, and C. We can represent them by this code. Let's call it code 1. In code 1, A is represented by 0B by 01C by 11. We can call each bit pattern a code word. When we encode the string BCA with code 1, we get the bit sequence 01110. When we read in this bit sequence, if we assume the first bit 0 represents A, the next two bits to be C, then we have one zero left which does not represent anything. So, we go back and assume the first two bits 0 1 represent B, the next two bits 1 1 represent C and the last bit 0 represents A, and reconstruct the string BCA. Though we can decode the bit sequence to the original string, we cannot decode it instantaneously. We have to examine the whole sequence before we could decode it correctly. This is because the code word of A, 0, is a prefix of B, 0, 1. When we read in a 0, we cannot be sure if it is A or the prefix of B. A prefix-free code is one in which no code word of a symbol is the prefix or start of the code word for another symbol. We say that such a code has the prefix property. A prefix-free code is an instantaneous code, which can be decoded instantaneously. For example, the code, code 2, is prefix-free. In code 2, A is represented by 0, B by 1 0, C by 1 1. The string BCA is encoded as 1 0 1 1 0. When we read the sequence of bits, we can decode it instantaneously with 1 0 for B. 1 1 for C, 0 for A, without any ambiguity and we get back the string BCA. We can say that code 2 is an instantaneous code. A code can be conveniently represented by a binary tree. A symbol is denoted by a node and the code word of the symbol is given by the path from the root to the node, assuming that a left branch signifies a 0 and a right branch signifies a 1 as shown in this figure, which represents code 2 in which the code word of A is 0, B, 1 0, C, 1 1. Alternatively, a left branch can signify a 1 and a right branch can signify a 0. We can see that all symbols are on the leaves of the tree. This is the characteristics of an instantaneous code. If the symbols are all on the leaves, the code represented by the binary tree is an instantaneous code. In contrast, a code that is not prefix-free will have at least a code word represented by an internal node, non-leaf, which will be the prefix of the leaf on the path. The following figure shows the binary tree representation of code 1, in which A with code word 0 is an internal node, a prefix of the node B with code word 0 1, a leaf. A fixed-length code is a code with all code words having the same number of bits. It is always an instantaneous code because all nodes representing the code words are at the same level and are leaves. For example, we can represent the seven symbols A, B, C, D, E, F, G by three bit code words. The code word of A is 000, B001, C010, D011, E100. F101, G110. The corresponding binary tree is shown here. A fixed length code is simple but is often not efficient. In a text message, if some symbols occur more frequently than others, it is more efficient to represent frequently occurred symbols with shorter code words and others with longer code words. For instance, consider the codes, code 3 and code 4. Code 3 is a fixed length code while code 4 is not. Symbol A occurs more often than others, with a frequency of 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 0.35, 
and are represented by 000 and 00 and code 3 and code 4 respectively. Symbol B has frequency 0.20 and codes 001 and 10, and so on. Symbols F and G have the least frequency of 0.03 and the longest code word length of 4 bits in code 4. As discussed above, code 3 is the fixed length code. Its average length is 3 bits. The average length of code 4 is L equals 0.35 times 2 plus 0.20 times 2 plus 0.20 times 3 plus 0.15 times 3 plus 0.04 times 3 plus 0.03 times 4 plus 0.03 times 4 equal to 2.51 bits. This code is shown in this figure. Obviously, this code has a shorter average length than the 3-bit fixed length code. Can we do better than L equals 2.51 bits? This question was answered by Huffman who found a way to construct a code that is optimal, whose average length is minimal. We refer to such a code as Huffman code. A Huffman code can be obtained by traversing a Huffman tree which can be constructed in the following way. Start with a forest of single noted trees. Merge two trees whose roots have the lowest frequencies. The sum of the frequencies is the frequency of the root of the new tree. So in the above example, we first merge F and G as they have the lowest frequencies of 0.03. The merged tree root has a frequency of 0.03 plus 0.03 equal to 0.06. Now 0.04 and 0.06 are the lowest, so we merge the nodes to obtain a frequency of 0.04 plus 0.06 equal to 0.1. Now the lowest are 0.1 and 0.15. We merge them to get 0.25. After this, the lowest are 0.2 and 0.2. We merge them to get 0.40. Now the lowest are 0.25 and 0.35, so we mega them to get 0.60. Finally, we merge 0.40 and 0.60 to get 1.0. We can redraw the tree like this and obtain the code words by traversing the tree. For A it is 1, 0. B, 0, 0. C, 0, 1. D, 1, 1, 0. E, 1, 1, 1, 0. F, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. G, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So the code word length for A is 2, B is 2, C is 2, D is 3, B is 4, F is 5, and G is 5. The average length is L equals 0.35 times 2 plus 0.2 times 2 plus 0.2 times 2 plus 0.15 times 3 plus 0.04 times 4 plus 0.03 times 5 plus 0.03 times 5 equals 2.41 bits. This is shorter than the average length of code 3 above, which is 2.51. In fact, the average length of a Huffman code is optimal. Note that. In a Huffman tree, besides the leaves, every node has two children. A Huffman tree can be conveniently constructed using a priority queue that we discussed in the previous video. We just need to insert all the nodes into a priority queue. We treat the priority queue as a black box and we know that the element with the highest priority always comes out first. Here, we associate the key or priority with the symbol frequency. The smaller the frequency, the higher the priority. So we delete two nodes from the priority queue which will always have the lowest frequencies. 
We merge these two nodes to obtain a new frequency and put the merged root node back to the queue. We repeat the process until the queue is empty and we have a single tree. The last node deleted from the queue is the root of the tree, which is a Huffman tree. By traversing this tree, we obtain the Huffman code. We will discuss its implementation in CC++ in the next video, which is part 2 of this topic. Thanks for watching.